more health. Oh! I just died. I, my god, I, I literally just, I just did that, didn't I? Alrighty guys, what is up? It's a new day for you guys, a new class is for you guys, but the same day for me. You guys are watching the Willy Bobo Life here. I am Will, and this is uh, Shadow of the Colossus on the PS4 on very hard mode. If you guys want to skip the intro, go ahead and skip about a minute and a half uh, to the video. But we are playing on very, or we are playing on hard mode, um, new game plus, so we have everything unlocked. The items I am using in this playthrough are the Cloak of Force, the Mask of Power, Dorman, the Sword of Dorman, um, the Cursed Wander skin, the White Steed skin for Argo, and the Cloth of Desperation, which is the parachute. Um, all this stuff basically means I'm allowed to one-hit kill and look cool doing it. Um, each Colossus has, and in hard mode, has like maybe I think two or three, sometimes more uh, hit points than they would normally do in normal mode if you've ever played the game. And uh, with all that said. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode. We are on Colossus number 12 now, and I want to say I think that one is the, uh, the, the water ape dude, um, but I can't remember. I don't know if he's a water ape. I don't know what this guy is, but he shoots laser, he, he's in the water, and he, uh, he shoots lightning from his, uh, his sides. I'm pretty sure that's number, uh, number 12. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but... We're somewhere in the ballpark of getting all this done. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead, as always, here for the series. I've been trying my best to talk to you guys in the camera to take away a face cam during most cutscenes and kill scenes and uh, just show you how to get there, maybe give you a couple of tips on how to do it fast and uh, how to move around the world faster to get your stuff and all that. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so right off the bat, yes, I was correct. It is the exact one I thought it was. It's like the water ape dude. He shoots thunder from his little horns on his side. The only way to kill this guy is to basically get on top of him, lure yourself down uh, or to one of the taller pillars, jump off his head because you got to hit his teeth uh, to move him left, right, or forward. You got to move him to these like platforms that you jump off his head. Then you're going to make him jump on top of the platforms to expose his belly which you then jump on to stab and kill him. Um, a lot of this, half this fight's basically swimming in the water, the other half is trying to jump on him and climb him. So we go this way, it's really not hard. No, I do not use the sword to navigate. I do not need the sword to navigate. And it's gonna be through these amazing pillars. God, I just, I, I really wish, like, I will always say this, and every, every fan of Shadow of the Colossus will say this, we wish we could have done way more with this world because it is amazing. It is absolutely breathtaking. Like, I wish there was a Colossus down there. Like, I really do. I wish there was, like, little tiny Colossus enemies that you could smack with the sword or, or kill with bows and arrows. I don't know. I just, I really wish we could have done that. But they didn't add that function. I, no one ever will. And it's just one of those things that, like, maybe... Maybe Studio, Sony Studio Japan should really come out with Shadow of the Colossus 2 and and just blow us away with the same world but other Colossus popping up or something. Like, maybe the levee breaks and Colossus are falling out of the sky. God, that'd be such a good idea for a game. But we're just going across here. Like I said, just, you're following the pillars. You're going to go across here. You're actually going to come out over there, but it's actually quite a long journey. This is the second Colossus that actually has a really beautiful landscape you got to cross to get to. Pretty much, I think, the only other Colossus you have to do a landscape you have to cross to get to. Yeah. Yeah. You go through these like beautiful wooded areas. Yeah. There's like a whole little stream and a couple like tall mountains and stuff you can visit here, but we're, we're not going to do that in this 
in this playthrough. We're just we're just kind of focusing on the direct path that we need to get to each Colossus. This is the part of the traveling in this game I kind of hate because they kind of force Argo to go really slow. I get why, because they want you to like kind of feel the uh, you're on a cliff feeling, you know. But it's it's just kind of like why do you have to go so slow? Like I'm I can press it, but it ain't gonna go any faster. You can kill white-tailed lizards, or what they call shiny-tailed lizards, to, uh, I believe, give you more um, strength. Because I know the fruit, I believe, gives you... Alrighty, so you saw me die, but through the magic of video editing. <laughs> uh, I can actually now just zip to this part where, um, yeah, I'm not dead again, because that was retarded and lame and... Uh. Now we're gonna shimmy over here, past the waterfall. Um, now the same kind of tip I gave you earlier uh, in the series, season series, if you've been following or if you're new, this is a pro tip for you. To swim faster in this game, you just gotta go underwater and hold with L with R two. Just go underwater with R two and hold L two, and you will swim faster. And we're going to that platform right there that we see right ahead of us. <clears throat> and we can stay underwater the whole time because our strength, our stamina bar right there is, is just maxed out. So we're just pretty much boss like that, right? Yeah. So um, we're about to do the introduction scene to this Colossus. So I am actually going to kill face cam and let you guys enjoy. Okay, so interesting detail I just noticed about this dude is that in the original version, you couldn't actually tell that there were like grates around his horns. You just thought his horns produced electricity, right? And this one, they have like these cages around the, the electricity stuff, so you can actually kind of see the horns. I mean, obviously in high def because it's an, it's next new generation kind of remake but I just I didn't really realize that visualize that uh detail like that like that before which is crazy
Grenade <laughs> reaction. And kill cam. Well, that was Colossus number 12 taken out. Man, I gotta stretch it a lot in these videos, dude. Like, just, man. Um, yeah, but that was, there's gonna be a little bit of editing in, in, these, in these videos. That's nothing, nothing too major. Nothing, just, just cuts. Just cutting content, cutting, cutting footage. Oh, more cutscenes. All right, <laughs> what's up? Okay, so that was Colossus number 12, uh, the water dude that shoots lightning out of his face. Um, he's dead. Uh, as you guys can see, the uh, my village's dude is coming to stop me from what I'm doing because they know it's the uh, storm in the sky, right? Well, that's all fun and jazz, but it doesn't stop me from so I'm going after Colossus number thirteen next. That means we're only we're down to four now. Only four left. Uh, only four left, and only three leaks left for you guys. Um, this is gonna be freaking awesome. Uh, remember, two Colossus a week until the series is done. Uh, number thirteen is next, obviously. And I want to actually say, if I'm correct, number thirteen is the dragon because number 14 is the the um the like lion or tiger like i like to call him because you find him on inside of like a temple area and he's small and then actually i think he's like a tiger so it's the dragon the tiger then it's the the elder knight which is that guy and then it's the boss so that's what's left thank you guys so much for watching this series so far you guys are if you guys are returning people if you guys are new thank you guys for tuning in so getting if you got this far in the video thank you you know honestly really thank you give me a thumbs up down below for yourself and for me for doing a good job <laughs> um this has been shadow the colossus on hard mode in an epic playthrough and uh if you guys have any questions comments leave them in the comment section let's have a discussion about what you guys think about shadow of the colossus or other games like it actually the the cool thing about this just a little sneak peek for you guys um if you guys watch this video specifically uh is i'm actually going to be playing a game called pray to the gods or pray for the gods um on pc right soon after this uh which is similar to this there's uh so far there's six bosses i believe maybe seven in that game but it's in a very much similar fashion to shadow of the colossus but it's taking place in the winter and not in this amazing kind of like 
foresty green landscape. So it's going to be a pretty dope game. has a little bit more survival in it. Um, it's on PC, so that's going to be the game I'm play after this. I also am going to be playing on bringing uh, The Last Guardian and Echo to the channel. Um, so keep in mind that that's going to be a PlayStation 4 title and a retro PS2 title coming to the channel soon. Um, those are going to be done in episodes for some of them and probably live stream on, on another. Uh, so just if you're new, subscribe now, man. Subscribe now because you got to hit that bell notification so you guys can be up to date when that stuff comes out if those are your games, if those are your kind of niche, if that's your thing you like. Uh, with all that said, though, thank you guys so much for watching The Willy Bobo Life. I'm Will, and I enjoy sharing my life with you. So peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video.